Vice President Biden, let me ask you to pick up on the issue that Senator Sanders just raised about no one being above the law. When President Ford pardoned President Nixon, he said it was to heal the country. Would you support a potential criminal investigation into President Trump after he leaves office, even if you thought it might further inflame the country's divisions? Look, I would not direct my Justice Department like this president does. I'd let them make their independent judgment. I would not dictate who should be prosecuted or who should be exonerated. That's not the role of the president of the United States. It's the attorney general of the United States, not the president's attorney, private attorney. And so I would, whatever was determined by the attorney general I supported, that I appointed, let them make an independent judgment. If that was the judgment that he violated the law and he should be, in fact, criminally prosecuted, then so be it. But I would not direct it. And I don't think it's a good idea that we mock, that, that we that we model ourselves after Trump and say, lock him up. Look, we have to bring this country together. Let's start talking civilly to people and tweeting. You know, the next president who starts tweeting should, anyway. It, it, it just, we, look, it's about civility. We have to restore the soul of this country. And that's not who we are. That's not who we've been. That's not who we should be. Follow the law. Let the Justice Department make the judgment as to whether or not someone should be prosecuted, period. Senator Sanders, let me ask you briefly to respond to that, the difference of your opinion, of opinion there with Vice President Biden. Well, no, I think uh, Joe is right. Uh, I think that it is the function of the attorney general. But what I am of the opinion is that the American people now do believe, and the more they see these uh, impeachment hearings on television. They do believe that we have a president who thinks he's above the law. We have a president who is engaged in corruption. We have a president who has obstructed justice. And in my view, somebody who has violated the emoluments clause. I think Joe is right. That is the function of an independent Department of Justice. But my inclination is that the American people do believe that this president is in violation of the law. Can I, can I respond very quickly? Uh, briefly, sir. Briefly, Distinction. Sir. Should he be impeached and should he be thrown out of office? That's one question. He's very close to impe He's indicted himself. Number two, after he's thrown out of office or after he's defeated, should he be then prosecuted? Should he be prosecuted for a criminal offense while he was president? That's a judgment to be made by an attorney general. Mr. Vice President, thank you. Ashley. We now focus on an issue facing many Americans, child care and paid family leave. Here in Georgia, the average price of infant daycare can be as much as $8,500 per child per year. That's more than in-state tuition at a four-year public college in Georgia. Mr. Yang, what would you do as president to ease that financial burden? <laughs> there are only two countries in the world that don't have paid family leave for new moms.